In this video I will show you how to create and save a simple map in the Doom 3 editor. Okay, first I want to browse to the maps folder. Inside the Doom 3 folder is the base folder. In here is the maps folder. Inside the maps folder I suggest you create a new folder for each map that you create. I'm going to call this red. There are several files associated with creating a map. So a folder for each map project keeps your maps folder organized. Now with our map directory set up, let's go into the editor. Click on File and select Save. Make sure you're saving the map file into the red folder we just created. I'm going to name this map Key. Click Save and click OK. With the map project set up, I need to create a basic map to spawn a player in. In the grid viewport, left click and drag to create a rectangle to a reasonable size room. I'm going to start at 0, 0 and create the dimensions at 512 by 512. Use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the grid viewport. Hold right click and drag to pan the view in the grid viewport. Press control tab to cycle through the XYZ perspectives. When you're looking down the Z axis you'll see the Z icon. You can reposition the Z icon if you want by holding shift and left clicking to another location. Press control tab to go to a side view. Left click and drag up to increase the height of the roof to 256. In the Z window you can click above or below the selected brush to resize it also. I never really use it myself. I normally just cover it up. Right click and drag to navigate in the 3D perspective camera view. Hold control then right click and drag to pan your perspective up or down and left or right in the camera window. Click the hollow button to carve out the inside of the brush we created. The remaining walls are red because they are selected. With the walls still selected I'll apply some caulk texture and some texture for the visible inner surface of the walls. Click the media tab and expand both texture folders. Then inside the common folder, select Caulk. Press the Escape key to deselect the walls. Hold Shift and left click on the box. This selects an individual brush. You can hold Shift and left click to deselect it also. You can select multiple walls using Shift left click. Navigate to the middle of the box in the camera window. Hold Control, Shift, Alt, and left click on the inside walls to select only the surfaces visible inside this sealed environment. Back inside our textures folder, go to Base Wall and pick any texture that you like. That'll work for me. Press Escape to deselect the walls. Every map needs a player start to indicate where the player will spawn when the map starts. Right click in the grid viewport, hover over info and select info player start. Reposition the player start just above the ground. Cycle through your XYZ perspective until you're looking down the Z axis. Press escape to deselect player start. Right click into the grid viewport and select light. I'm going to reposition the light into the center of the room. And raise it up towards the roof. Deselect the light. Now we want to BSP our map. This compiles our map. Under File, click Save. And now press F2 to launch Doom 3. Press Control Alt Tilde to open the console. Type Map, the name of the folder, and the name of the map file. Press Enter, and it will load our map. And that's how you create and save a simple map in Doom 3. Press Ctrl-Alt-Tilde to open the console and type exit to leave.